Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel CAD Tutorial for Beginners. Today we will start with a sheet metal in Creo Parametric. So for the uh, introduction of uh, sheet metal, you can watch my previous videos from the Katia playlist. So let us start with the sheet metal in Creo. So to start with the sheet metal environment, click on New. Uh, keep this main type as a part and then uh, change the subtype to sheet metal here and you can provide the name here let's say sheet metal and then uh, I will just uncheck this use, use default template if I keep, it, keep this as it is then it will start with a inch, pound and second so I will just change this and then change it to millimeter, newton second hard sheet metal then you can add here uh, the model by so let's say my name one and then uh, the description is sheet metal tutorial and then just click ok then it will start with the sheet metal environment so you can see the sheet metal toolbars here so as we all know that uh, with my we already discussed about this uh, planar system is a trimetric system i will change it to the isometric so go to file options go to model display and then change it to isometry here again one more uh, setting is there in the sketcher uh, check this lock user modif or user defined dimension if you define some dimension it will be locked with this option similarly uh, check this make the ske sketching plane parallel to the screen so and then just click ok i don't want to save this so click no now you can see here this is a isometric planar system so now as you all know uh, the first Toolbar, uh, tool uh, you can use in the sheet metal is a planer here so only uh, that is uh, only this tool is uh, enabled here and this, uh, the remaining tools are disabled so just I will create one rectangle here I will select the center rectangle provide the dimensions now when you provide a dimension that is user defined dimension it will be turned into red and that is the log dimension I will change to 600 similarly it will turn into red and then click OK now you can use the planar option here go to standard orientation You can change the thickness here, uh, let's say 2 mm, and then you can change this uh, material addition with respect to the sketch. So I will edit this. Some options available are here. So you can see the preview with this option. This is the glasses. You can see the preview here and just you resume with this option uh, let's say 5 mm and then just click ok so after adding the planar the remaining tools are enabled now now you can use these different tools to create your model so let us take this flat select the edge here and click ok you can change this shading with edges I will select the flange here now check this the flange option So 
in this way you can use these dif different tools now so thank you for watching please like and subscribe my channel thank you